Hello everyone, welcome back to a new Pokemon opening video. I'm Pascal and you're watching The Card Collectors. And it's been quite some time since we've had a proper opening in English, so I was thinking, well, let's find something uh, special for today, a special occasion to open something cool, and I found it in Japan. It doesn't happen too often that you get tins in Japan or Japanese tins, so I was super delighted to find that. Uh, it was currently released in Japan as part of a special set uh, for um, Sword and Shield, the new set that's out in Japan already and still finding its way to Europe and the US uh, coming out on uh, February 7th. So uh, we're almost there, we're almost at Sword and Shield, but Japan already got a awesome tin. Here's a special set one from Sword and Shield and uh, I thought I want to take a look at it together with you. Super excited to open up that one with you today because um, not only do we apparently get uh, Zaishian and Zamazenta here as uh, special cards, but uh, when I took a look at what's in here, I thought, well, wow, that's a good value proposition. That's one awesome tin. First of all, the tin looks good and we'll find out shortly if it looks as good in real life. We got plenty of... Um, promo cards from what it looks like and then we also do get some boosters to open so it's the perfect small little set to open on such a beautiful day and i'm thinking well let's just uh, open this up let's dig in let's see if i can okay so uh the plastic is definitely strong japan is uh known for its good packaging um, but here we are. So uh, wrapper is off. The colors are popping already. We got Zacian and Zamazenta colors here with blue and with uh, red to violet-ish. And then we just go on from here by pulling the tin can out, setting this to the side. And here it is in all its glory, a Japanese tin which looks like a cookie box a little bit. I really dig it. So we got both legendary Pokemon of Sword and Shield. We got here uh, the Pokemon card game uh, with um, with all the energies. And um, just quickly, well, we're seeing some fairy energy here, which is not fair because fairies are officially off the table for Sword and Shield, but hey, sure. And then we got this nice design on the lid. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, and Japan just never ceases to amaze me. Look at how cleanly that is, how cleanly and tidily packed that is. So uh, we get from back to front a special paper here. Oh, that's the that's the ad for uh, with the explanation what's actually in there. And I wish I had studied Japanese instead of Chinese, so I could read this right now, but well, you are what you are, right? And then um, on the back, we see some more information about the V cards of Zacian and Zamazenta, also a hint at V Max, um, V Max cards coming up. Uh, that's what comes in the box. If you want to take a closer look here, that's how the paper looks like from both sides. I'll set it aside just for one second and then we continue to see what's in here. Wow, this is one pretty tin box. So uh, cardboard, of course, I, I, I prefer cardboard to plastic because you can actually recycle that. So that's out. And then uh, also in here is the package with the promo cards, which we'll take a closer look at and six booster packs. Uh, which is amazing because I look forward to opening those with you to maybe find something different. But hey, first look uh, at our, are these promo cards? Are these special cards? Uh, we'll have to take a close look at them. Let's get this out of the way. And okay, so special set one and here's card three out of seven. From the special set, set it's uh, clearly Zacian with his sword. Then there's Samazenta, uh, also SP1 and card number four out of seven. So I'm wondering, are the full arts maybe, or the V cards, are there one and two? Uh, I'll research that for that. I'll get back to you with the information, but they have a nice holo pattern as well. And then we get, uh, okay, so what are their names? It's not Meowth, is it Purloin? I don't know. Uh, so is that is that a Galarian mouth? 
I would hope so. I think so, yes. And oh, here is uh, this card number one from seven. So, oh, right. Okay, so we're getting these cards here and uh, the evolution, Galarian Perogli. What? Help me, please. Comments. I'm playing the game in German, so I don't quite know the English names yet. But hey, uh, this is card number two out of seven. We get two of those. And then uh, some trainer cards as well. Um, we're, as we're going up here from to the special set, here is a supporter card, also a trainer card uh, with a cute design. And that we got how? How? How do I not know that? Oh, and this is, okay, well, here comes the real surprise. Um, these are the newly designed energy cards. And they sure look beautiful. You see here is steel type energy with uh, some kind of a flame. And we got not one, two, three, we got a couple of those because obviously the theme of the deck is steel. So I'm super happy to add those steel type energies to my collection of energy cards. Uh, they sure do look good. And now I have plenty of metal to get around. So recap, uh, first thing we get is a couple of special cards, uh, artworks that we've never seen before as well. And of course the nice uh, Zeishan and Zamazenta special uh, artworks that I haven't seen before. So what else is uh, in here? I'm super happy always, uh, super happy to get some booster packs as well. So uh, three sword, three shield, let's dig into those as well. See if we can get anything else. One more thing out of the set. The card trick is for from the back to the front. And when we start off with a Mincino on the uh, Pharisee and oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow, our first hit is a holo card. And um, correct me if we've seen that before, but isn't that the exact, oh, it's not the exact same. Well, it's the same Pokemon. It's got the same amount of energy, but the one from the special set has two attacks. And this one uh, from sword, uh, from the sword set has uh, one attack and an ability. That's great, that's great, okay. I'll, I'll gladly take that. That's uh, almost half a pull. That's a pull. All right, up to the next booster pack. Two out of three from Sword. And Sword, as we know, has many, many cool artworks waiting, waiting for us. I'm especially fond of the V cards. I really dig the design. I love the attention to detail that Pokemon has put into V cards. One. Thwacky is here, and then uh, some more cards that we've seen already on our last big opening. If you haven't checked out our giant sword and shield opening, you should most definitely. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a video, we'll link the video down below. Let's check that one out. We've opened 150 booster packs, and it was a feast for the eyes. So let's see, oh, as we pull a V card of Lapras. That's very nice. Our last sword booster yielded us a Lapras V card. It's well cut. It's, uh, it's got this uh, amazing two-tone structure here with a, uh, well, uh, well, we love all, all the nice colors and a nice little embossing. I love V cards and I'm happy to add this one to our pools of today out of this tin. Then uh, three shield boosters to go. Let's do that. Let's watch. Let's see what we can get out of here. And then, um, well, let me know if you think uh, that's, oh, Marnie. Uh, that's even a holo Marnie. Do you remember we pulled that uh, Marnie Rainbow Rare Full Art not long ago? That was one card to pull. And we are already, uh, it has a new home, by the way. Um, Pascal, a fellow card collector uh, from Switzerland, he wanted the card so badly uh, that we uh, gave it to him. Shout out to him. And um, I hope it has a new friendly home with you. Marnie, definitely one of the chase cards from the set, and I'm happy that it found a new home. So, oh, here's a nice core bunny, and then um, the evolution, 
And our last booster pack of today. Let's see if I can open that or need my scissors for that because I just totally failed this one. Let's open it like that. Last booster pack of the day out of this amazing tin, a Sword and Shield special tin from Japan is Oh, a Rhyperior. Okay, so uh, this is a holo card as well, which yields us a couple of pulls, which le uh, yields us a V card of Lapras. We got plenty of new cards to sort through. We got these special cards here that we just pulled out of the set, uh, uh, out of the, the set of special cards. And uh, well, here's the pile. I'll get that neatly sorted out. And uh, yeah, that was it. That was the special tin from Japan. And I really like it. How do you like the design, guys? Let me know in the comments. I think it looks substantial. I can imagine I can store quite some cards in there. Let's actually find out. Does it hold two decks side by side? Not sure, but we'll find out quickly. All right, look at that. It's actually pretty spacious. I'm sure you can fit plenty of cards in there with a little room to wiggle. Of course, you should um, you should sleeve them first, but that is one nice tin and I love to add it to my collection. I hope you had fun watching uh, this video, going through this special tin from Japan with me. Um, let me know if you wanna see it in our web shop. We haven't listed yet. If I can get good deals uh, out of Japan, I'll be happy to add it to our collection so you can buy yourself one. Uh, you should definitely get it, I think. Um, so so uh, let me know that in the comments as well. Find us on Instagram, find the card collectors on YouTube, as you have probably done by watching this video. I thank you for uh, being, um, for, for watching today and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.